celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter. Go. Hi, everybody. I'm Mutu Morgan. I've been in the entertainment industry for a period of approximately 40 years. This young man, Reagan Gerard, has been with me for approximately 20 years. He has been groomed in the fine arts of management and events management and performance and program directing when it comes to events in Southern Africa. His expertise and skills surpasses many individuals that have been in the industry for such a period of time. I am proud to recommend this young man as an events manager and a program director for those of you who are looking for that difference in your performances and making your function different. With the expertise and skills that we have at Music Corporation, we have the ability to make your dream function a reality. Many people may try to imitate, but it is definitely impossible to duplicate. Remember, when you think entertainment, just think Music Corporation. Mutu Murugan and Regan Gerard.
movie we hope we can do justice to the song. Glenn and I are going to try to write for you. We want you to clap your hands to beat the music. Ready, I'm ready to do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's take your hands back
Well, folks, please allow me this opportunity to formally introduce myself. My name is Regan G. The G stands for Gupta. <laughs> My name is Regan Gerard. I am the nephew of the one and only Mutu Murugan. All in the Chalra knows it, I'm sure. <laughs> Him and I come from a family of musicians and entertainers, hardcore musicians and entertainers. Even when you come into our house, you enter our living room, you'll notice our sewing machine is a singer. <laughs> so, there you go. A little bit of my background, my family life, I just want to state for the record. I am happily married. My greatest strength in life is my wife. My greatest weakness is my neighbor's wife. <laughs> Not you, Adil, the other side. <laughs> my name is, yeah. I have two sons, both are boys. <laughs> checking your daily attention. My eldest son is 10 years old, his name is Troy. He's very passionate about work. He said, Daddy, roll your contacts. Please organize me a job. I organized him a job. He's now a lifesaver in a local car wash. <laughs> if ever you're looking to hire myself or my uncle and you're looking for us, we stay just south of Amshlanga. It's called Queensborough. And <laughs> you just get into the main road, Green Mantle Road. We don't give you a house number. You don't need a house number. You just look for the biggest double story face brick house. Waterfall shooting left and right. Two huge Dobermans guard in the house. Range Rover Park one side. C63 Mercedes Benz Park the other side. You ring the doorbell, the intercom, the witness, the lady I was talking about. She'll come out, she'll ask what you want. Tell them you came for Regan and Mutu from the outbuilding. <laughs> Alright, now that you know enough about me, let's get to know our audience. Is there any white people in the house? Anyone? Oh, I noticed my man. How are you doing, sir? You're cool. Let this be a lesson to all other Indian people. Always invite white people to your functions. They're great for lighting. They just brighten up the place. Thank you, sir. Okay. Are there any black people in the audience? And I'm not talking about Tamil people. I should be talking, huh? But let me tell you something what gets me through the day and the morning, especially, right? Being a dark skin, handsome Indian. All the other day guys are making fun of you. What you must do is do what I did. Every morning, I go shave to brush my teeth. I've got this big mirror. In the bottom of the mirror, I've got a picture of Logi Naido. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not going in front of Logi Naido? <laughs> Even the Nigerian was in the hey, that was my <laughs> But Logi's my man. Okay, are there any Hindustani people in the house tonight? Can you make some noise? Yeah. All right. What do you call a van full of Hindustani men? In fact, only Hindustani men in the back of a van. Bread van. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Bread people are thrifty. They can save money. If you want to save money, give your money to a bread owner. Whether you get it back or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And let me tell you something. My neighbor, if I stand in front of my house, on the left-hand side is a bread Here, yeah, a bread can capitalize on any situation. He was friendly with him. His father died. So he said, Regan, come with me to the newspapers. I need to place an ad in the paper, a funeral notice. So we get there. He asked, he asked them, how much to place an ad? My father died. They said, five grand a word. He said, okay, put Ramesh by that. <laughs> he said, no, sir, you have to put six words and above. Listen now. Thought, 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 how many thought, guys have to put six words, have to put six words. He said, okay, put Ramesh by guy, period of the roll of a sale. Just think of this any situation. <laughs> then even worse than that, Muslims can really say, are there any Muslims, any Islamos in the house tonight? I promise I'll cut my program short. <laughs> <laughs> Same story on this side, right hand side, Islamo died. Same story, read it from me, tell newspapers, we get there, how much, five grand a word, he said, too much. He said, you know what, put Babu by guy. He said, sorry sir, it has to be six words and above. There was some of the situation. Talk, talk, talk. He said, okay, put Babu by guy, but the tuck shop is still open. <laughs> Let's capitalize. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the black, white, green, orange, you're welcome here tonight. Opening up the speeches this evening is a man that is coming up with a very special song. I believe he's the one that makes it happen in the family. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Adrian Naidu.
remind you of Michael Jackson on your school back. to tantalize the taste buds. How do you take it? It's up to you. I'm sure my man Ashim is ready. He got his song queued up.
Thank you. 